Hey guys and welcome back to another DVD and Blu-ray update. Got some new cool Blu-rays. Uh, it still oh, it goes back from uh, August that I collected a lot of new DVD and Blu-rays and I show you them now in four separate videos. So here's the second part of this mega update since August. Let's start with Entourage season 4. I uh, showed you my fifth and sixth season in my last update and I showed you four so it doesn't really matter. Great show, love it, great show. A movie by Ty West, I'm really a fan of his work, I really like uh, the uh, the House of the Devil um, and uh, the Inn, oh my god, I'm, sure was... I'm quite sure what is uh, the movie before this one, I just blanked out here. But uh, I, I really like his movies because they're fun and he gives his, uh, in his horror films, his characters more depth than in other movies where people are just, yeah, most most of the time not really interesting character. He gives the movie a little bit uh, more more in depth characters. Really, you really care about the lead, lead actors, and uh, I, I really enjoy his work. And this last one is not, really, I'm not quite sure it's really a horror, more drama th thriller about the two journalists who are going into uh, undercover in an. Uh, a cult and it's called the sacrament i got a um haven't seen it yet but uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to see it and uh what i say i hope to see more of this director i really like his work next one is a movie based on a short on a on the, on the fake trailer of uh yeah called clown and eli, eli roth uh got involved and they eventually made a whole movie out of it it's called clown um also still need to see this movie i haven't seen it yet but i'm looking forward to here it's a good good scary scary movie but i'm uh, i have to see it next one i got uh, i bought uh, when it was still uh, had the release in, uh, in america in the cinema uh, i already got it on blu-ray here in holland awesome it's sean the sheep <laughs> Thank you. But I heard from very good things about it. It's also non-spoken. Uh, actually, the whole movie is non-spoken, I think. But I heard great things about it, so I'm very curious uh, how, how it is. Next one is a very cool box set, and I know a lot of people who are fans of this. Big trilogy, two trilogies, I think, and one trilogy in particular. It's Star Wars, the whole complete set. And I must say, I'm, I'm 33 years old and I have had never seen the Star Wars movies. Uh, only episode 1, 12 years ago I think, saw it for the first time. And never saw the original trilogy and oh, well, easy there. Uh, the reason was when I grew up in the 90s, there were a lot of cartoons and uh, who did all homages to, to Star Wars and, and everywhere is referred. And on the time I haven't, didn't see the movies then. Uh, and everything was already spoiled and I was kind of sick of it and I never saw it and oh and now it was okay I'm gonna check it out I'm gonna check it out and and of course uh, I really need to get to see this trilogy before episode 7 is out and I saw it two weeks ago I saw the list uh, of all movies and yeah of course the original trilogy is awesome but then I saw episode 1 again and now good and then two, and then three. But if you imagine, if you if you're a Star Wars fan, you grew up with the original one. You had almost wait twenty years for Episode One, and you saw what you saw then. One well, that's what feels probably feels like someone they took a shit in your eyes. Wow, one is so bad. Anakin, Jar Jar Binks, Nelly Portman. She wasn't even act acting. She was didn't even try. It was so bad. And also the second one, I fell asleep. And the third one was kind of it's not great, but it was better. But what I um, but I felt is also with the special effects. I really enjoyed the the, the effects that they used with the first three uh, uh, with the original trilogy. I thought I liked it better, even though it was older and wasn't all kind of meh. But the, the whole episode one, all the, all, the, all the animation there, it looks like I was watching an, uh, uh, not that great of CGI movie. But 
yeah, this, this is a slap in the face, but I'm really looking forward to how the new work is. And like they said, I bought it for 50 euros, but this, I think it's cheap for this. Because normally they were about, they, you buy them for 70 euros. And then I think some shops there, they push the price high because the new one, uh, new Star Wars film is coming, so I wonder what they want to cash in. But I got this for 50 euros, so I thought it was a pretty good deal and a real nice addition. Next one is the interview with Seth Rogen and James Franco. And I think it's a hilarious movie. Um, I really enjoyed it. I think I laughed a lot. I like I, I like the on-screen chemistry between Franco and Rogen. They they have very good chemistry, and may yeah you really I I like it. And if you don't like the humor, okay, it's, it's everyone have a different taste. But I enjoyed it. I thought it was very funny. And now I'm going to talk about a Dutch movie who's going to be shown at Sundance. So if you have to if you have the chance to be there, I say uh, watch this movie, it's a lot of good family fun. It's called The Boss Campies. Uh, it's a Dutch movie. The lead is Rick Boskamp, who, who has a dad who is a loser. He gets bullied at school and then one day uh, his father gets a promotion, which he's not sure to take because he doesn't want to change, want to move, but then Rick uh, finds a way to, uh, to get him applied for the promotion. He, uh, and anyway, and they eventually move away. Uh, Rick goes to a new school with new kids. It's a kind of you know, movie, not the movie, the new guy, but it, this is much better. But it's the same kind of a concept. He goes away. He do he does it. He's more tougher. His dad a tough guy, and it it causes for a lot of fun uh, fun situations. And uh, let's say it's a lot uh, a fun movie. If you get a chance to see this movie uh, now on Sundance on, or you can buy it on, on, in your in your country, this, this is certainly worthwhile. It's a very heartwarming, cool, fun movie, well directed, and one of the scenes are, is shot in my hometown, so that's kind of awesome. But this is a fun movie. Uh, oh oh oh! And more most important, I am in it. I am in this movie. You really have to look closely. Uh, I shared a picture around my Facebook account, uh, Facebook. There's a scene with some Irish guys, and you see, yeah, this guy, this of my head, so like this. So you really have to look close if you watch this movie. But it's great. It's a Dutch, uh, great Dutch movie, and check it out. One also one of my favorite Dutch movies this year is called Prince. Uh, yeah, it, this. It, it's not really too, uh, good. I, I can't really explain this movie. It's kind of a yeah, a unique movie, and that's why I like it. It's not very super. They are not really uh, the big parts are not played by real actors, but uh, and you can see that kind of. But it's it's fun how this movie is set, how it's been shot. Uh, the the soundtrack is great, and yeah, it's it's a fun weird little Dutch movie. Uh, the soundtrack is great. It, it reminds me of, of the, the soundtrack of It Follows. It's made by Palm Bomen. Uh, you guys, if you play GTA V, you probably know one of the songs. Uh, it's also in this movie called, uh, it's from Palm Bomen. Uh, and the song is called Stock, S-T-O-C-K. Look it up, you probably really recognize it from that game. But it, it's it's a fun, fun Dutch movie. A weird, fun movie. Let's say it. I'm not going to explain more. If you get a, check, uh, a chance to check it out, definitely check it out. So that was my last movie for this DVD and Blu-ray update. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. This was Long with Now, and out. <laughs>